This is a very short YouTube lecture on how to use JSTOR. That's an academic database. It's particularly useful for my Photography J210 class because it presents the articles as PDF files, which means they have their pictures with them. Although they're academic in nature, they're often very topical and uh, they're very easy to search. In this case, we'll search for Edward Weston, a very famous American photographer. Basically, to get to uh, an IPFW academic database, the easiest thing to do is to go to the IPFW homepage, www.ipfw.edu, and click right here in the middle on Research and go down to Helmkey Library. Okay, here's the Helmkey Library homepage, and over here on the right, we want to find resources by title. So we'll go to the J's. And down here, it says JSTOR, so we'll click on JSTOR. It's very straightforward. And the reason we're using uh, databases first before Google, although Google is often wonderful for photographers. I don't want this to be a Wikipedia project, all right? I want you to do some original research. And uh, Google can sometimes be a little risky. Even Wikipedia can be a little risky because the articles are not peer-reviewed, uh, although people do check Wikipedia to make sure it's accurate. But not like uh, JSTOR, Academic Search Premier, where the articles can't even get into the electronic journal unless a whole panel of experts in the field have had a chance to look at the articles and sort of sign off on their authenticity and on their accuracy. So here's the JSTOR interface. Very, very straightforward. Let's just type in Edward Weston, E-D-W-A-R-D-W-E-S-T-O-N. He's a contemporary of Ansel Adams. OK. Uh, well, it's, you know, found 10,000 articles. They're not, I'm sure they're not all about Edward Weston, but it'll bring up the most relevant ones first. Uh, here's an article. Uh, Brett Weston and Edward Weston, an essay in photographic style. That would be perfect for anybody doing uh, a PowerPoint presentation on Edward Weston, obviously. Um, it's 10 pages long. That's what this tells us right here. And if we click on where it says PDF, we'll get the Acrobat reader file version of it, which you can print off. And if there are any photographs with it, it would be perfect. Um, here's another, a longer essay on Edward Weston, everything in its place. Um, Here's Edward Weston, the day books of Edward Weston, art, experience, and photographic vision. I don't know what that is without checking, but it sounds like a diary of some kind, but or an article about his diary. Uh, that's three pages long. So after that, you start um, getting to maybe uh, fewer relevancy in terms of the articles. But here's 35 photographs by Edward Weston, a uh, review, I guess, of a uh, exhibit. Edward Western's later work. So it wouldn't take you long to go through these articles. Uh, you know, you can sort of scan them, go through them quickly. And what I'm asking you to do, though, is you know, just find some relevant points, some analysis, uh, some critical thinking about the photographer that can give you uh, uh, some talking points in your PowerPoint, some slide points where you can say, okay, Edward Western's photographs mean this, or he did this for this reason, that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that you're going to come up with a somewhat academic presentation, not simply a uh, Wikipedia encyclopedia type presentation of his life and death and that kind of stuff. What we really want is content and analysis uh, more than just a book report. Okay, thank you.